Hello friends, welcome to Pharmacam Insights. In this video, you will see some basic interview question and answers on XRD. So let's get started. First question, what is X-ray powder diffraction XRD? So answer is X-ray powder diffraction XRD is a technique used to analyze the crystallographic structure chemical composition and physical properties of materials. It involves measuring the angles and intensities of X-rays diffracted by a powdered sample. Next question, what are the main applications of XRD? XRD is primarily used in material science, geology, chemistry and pharmaceuticals. It is useful to, for determining the crystal structure, phase identification and purity of materials. Next question. How does X-ray diffraction work? So answer is when X-rays are directed at a crystalline material, they are diffracted at specific angles which is governed by Bragg's law. By measuring these angles and the intensities of diffracted rays, information about the crystal structure can be obtained. Next question, what is Bragg's law and why is it important in XRD? So answer is, Bragg's law is n lambda is equal to 2d sin theta. Bragg's law relates the wavelength of X-rays that is lambda to the spacing between atomic planes that is T and the diffraction angle theta. It is essential in XRD because it allows us to calculate the distance between crystal planes and determine the crystal structure. Next question, what information can be obtained from an XRD pattern? An XRD pattern can provide information about the phase composition, crystal structure, lattice parameters, crystallite size and orientation of a material. Next question, what are the advantages of using XRD for material characterization? So the advantages are, first XRD is a non-destructive technique. It provides highly accurate crystallographic data. It can analyze complex mixtures and it requires minimal sample preparation. It is also fast and versatile for various materials. Next question, what is the difference between the diffraction angle 2 theta and the diffraction angle theta in XRD? So answer is, you can see in the figure, the diffraction angle 2 theta is the angle between the incident and the diffracted X-rays, whereas the theta angle refers to the angle between the incident X-ray and the plane of the crystal lattice. Next question, what is the meaning of peak intensity in an XRD pattern? The answer is, the peak intensity in an XRD pattern represents the amount of X-ray energy diffracted by the material. Higher intensities correspond to stronger diffraction from certain crystallographic planes. Next question, how do you determine the crystal structure of a material using XRD? The crystal structure is determined by analyzing the XRD pattern and comparing the diffraction angles to a database of known crystal structures using the measured two theta values, the lattice parameters and symmetry can be calculated. Next question, what is phase identification in XRD? Phase identification refers to determining the different crystalline phases present in a sample. This is done by comparing the XRD pattern of the sample to reference patterns in databases like the PDF 
पावर डिफ्रेक्शन फाइल नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट फैक्टर्स इंफ्लुएंस द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ एन एक्सआरडी इंस्ट्रूमेंट द रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ एन एक्सआरडी इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज इंफ्लुएंस बाय फैक्टर्स लाइक द एक्सरे सोर्स डिटेक्टर टाइप सैंपल साइज एंड द इंस्ट्रूमेंट मैकेनिकल प्रिसीशन सच एज द अलाइनमेंट ऑफ द गोनियोमीटर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन How is an XRD pattern interpreted? An XRD pattern is interpreted by analyzing the positions and intensities of diffraction peaks. The position correspond to specific lattice spacing that is d values and the intensities indicate the relative abundance of specific crystal planes. Next question what is the role of the sample preparation in XRD analysis Proper sample preparation is essential for obtaining accurate XRD results the sample should be finely powdered with a mortar pestle evenly distributed and aligned to reduce preferred orientation effect and ensure representative diffraction data Next question how does XRD detect amorphous materials XRD is less effective for detecting completely amorphous materials since amorphous materials lack long range order however a broad hum or diffuse scattering may be observed in the XRD pattern for semi amorphous materials Next question what are the limitations of XRD So answer is XRD is limited by sample size the requirement for crystallinity non effective for non crystalline materials and difficulties in analyzing mixtures with overlapping peaks It also provides information primarily on the average structure not on local variations Next question How does XRD help in the study of polymers So answer is XRD can be used to study the crystalline and amorphous regions of polymers by analyzing the diffraction pattern researchers can determine the crystallinity phase transitions and molecular orientation of the polymer chains Thank you I hope you like the video if you do like please hit the like button right away and share with your friends and subscribe to stay connected for more videos of this kind bye